Hello there, and welcome back to another Thunders Productions video. I'm the madman behind the mic, Jag Thunder, and this is Minecraft. What's up, guys, and welcome back to another video. This one is on the USS New York and San Diego. Actually, is sitting here right now. San Antonio class uh, ships, U.S. Navy ships. Uh, this was one of the ones that was on the request list, and... Um, it's been one that I've wanted to do for a very long time, so I went ahead and built it. it. took me about a week to design this, and I think it turned out really, really, really good. Um, it's got some really nice detail on the interior, and uh, this is going to be a kick-ass tutorial when I get this one done. Please don't ask. <laughs> you guys know I will get this for you just as soon as I can. Uh, but this video, I just want to jump aboard and uh, kind of show a few things off and see what you guys think. Or basically just kind of get some uh, up-close look at it. Uh, so this one here is the New York. That one is the San Diego. And um, no preference why I put the San Diego over there. Um, it was just 21 and 22, so that's what I ended up with. Um, the new LCAC and um, LCU design over here by my wasp we'll look at those here in just a minute um, but we'll go ahead and look at the new york the new york really quick uh, pretty much the this is the bow area and um, <laughs> i'm just gonna kind of drive by it here real quick or fly by it real quick and um yeah my trap doors are fucked up and see it just does not like trap doors and i haven't gone back and fixed any of these yet um, so i will get there but anyways we'll just get kind of get an up close look at everything yeah those are really really messed up uh, this boat station down here, this was kind of a pain in the ass, but uh, I think uh, turned out uh, pretty good. Uh, getting that put in was definitely a pain. And uh, the uh, the radar uh, towers here, I didn't know what those were. Um, I, I watched some videos, did a lot of online research, um, and these are like cones. They're like uh, like shields for um, you know help keep a you know lower profile on radar. But underneath is where the uh, the radars are instead of having the big mass like the older ships had with uh, a lot of the radar systems on the top it's actually underneath this you know it's like a like an upside down ice cream cone and it just covers the uh, the radar systems up so I thought that was pretty interesting I did not did not have any idea about what those were um, again I thought they were just to keep the uh, profile low on the ship uh, so which I mean they are but <laughs> there's more to it than that uh, anyways the uh, the landing deck back here a lot of work went into this trying to figure out um, the right length and uh, the right width and still being able to put all the different numbers and detailing on the main deck it can support two Osprey uh, la uh, landing and taking off simultaneously simultaneously here in the middle um, landing area one and then land area two are for the Osprey and then three four five and six are for the helicopters so they can uh, Land, uh, launch and retrieve four helicopters at the same time pretty damn impressive uh, got some nice little stations here on the side some little fire stations and uh, things like that um, there's the new Osprey design that I showed off on Facebook uh, completely redid a lot of this thing uh, got our three blades instead of four the only problem with this design is I cannot do the uh, the multi-head or the multi-position rotor head uh, like I had on the other one unless I change the blocks back out um, so anyways this is kind of what I've got around the nose off a little bit better uh, I think the biggest thing was the tail section uh, on the other one didn't look quite right this actually kind of sweeps down and makes a makes almost like a upside like a u-shape um, that's that's really hard to do in Minecraft um, so I kind of kind of got it but that's I think that's the best that I can get it um, this head design is pretty uh, pretty unique on the Osprey this actually turns sideways and folds up so the rotor heads fold down and then this spins 180 degrees with the body and that's how they get it inside the hangar bay no I did not make one of those yet <laughs> um, that's definitely gonna be a challenge um, and I will get to that when I get to it uh, but anyways uh, redesigned the Osprey for specifically for this build um, and then here is the the back and then the hangar bay and once we go inside uh and in, into the wet deck uh, or the well deck rather um i will take shaders off uh because there's a you know a lot of stuff down in there that you will not be able to see so let's go ahead and take off shaders and we'll drop down inside and we'll take a look at it all right so anyways you can see that one over there's got the deck down and this one has the uh the deck up so obviously we are going to go over into this one because it makes it easier to get inside 
And uh, there is the new LCAX. Uh, so those those fit really good. The old design um, will not fit in this, I don't believe. Um, I actually I didn't even try it um, when I was getting ready to design the ship. Uh, I went back and I looked at some sizes on the LCAX and was off pretty bad on my um, on my measurements. So that's why I redid the LCAX um, because this carries two of them or one LCU landing craft uh, utility, I think is what that stands for. Uh, but anyways, yeah, so this is shrunk down a lot and only fits one or two Humvees now, whereas before I think you put like five, five or six on the <laughs> on the thing. Um, so I think that one is still actually inside the Wasp. I don't think I changed it out. Um, the wet deck or the well deck uh, got a lot of a lot, a lot more work than what the the wasp the wasp got. Uh, the wasp pretty much ended right here. Uh, I've got all the main uh, storage decks in on this one, which is uh, took a lot of work, several days, um, and several ripouts and put backs together. <laughs> I know I just hashed the hell out of that, but anyways, uh, a lot of work just here in the uh, in the well deck, um, and I, and I think it really paid off. Uh, watched a couple videos on YouTube and uh, that's how I got this here to try to figure out where everything was and this is about just about as damn close as I can get it um, with the way everything is but anyways this goes down here to a storage area and then back in there is obviously for the uh, the engine room and the voids that they fill up for you know sinking the back part of the ship to get a little bit of water up inside of it for launching the uh, the craft out the back. Um, I didn't put any of that in. Eventually maybe I will, but I didn't think it really needed it. Um, so anyways, as you can see, my vehicles do fit in here. Uh, my five tons uh, are on the second deck here. And I think this is the only deck that those fit on because these are a little bit higher. I think this was seven high or one, two, three, four, five. This was six high and the other ones were five high. So the Humvees have to go on the bottom deck and the top deck. Just uh, really hard to get the spacing right on this one. Uh, this ramp over here goes out to the uh, hangar bay or the, uh, yeah, the landing deck and the hangar bay over there. And uh, on the, uh, the New York Right in here, off to the side, I, I couldn't get the detail in here, but when you look through, there's a, a, a piece from the uh, from the Twin Towers, a uh, piece of scrap metal that's been engraved and punched and stamped. So I think right in here, um, and again, it's kind of hard with Minecraft to get that kind of detail, uh, but anyways, I think I did fairly good on that one. And uh, this is the upper area here, and this goes up to the front. Now, I don't have nothing up here, uh, the biggest thing that I wanted to get in uh, was the main storage deck because a lot of people asked on the Wasp um, if I could do a tutorial on putting in the storage decks. Um, and it was just, it was a lot of work at the time and I didn't really have the time to put into it. So I put the extra time and effort into this one. So when this tutorial comes out, this will be a full tutorial. It will have the, the interior decks. So you can see back here, here's the Humvees. Um, now there's some other different things that go inside that again limitations of Minecraft I could not get um, there's actually some more drop down uh, ramps that are you know hydraulics they drop down from the deck and they go down to the next one below it um, just to make things easier I didn't want to put all that in uh, would have been a pain in the ass and actually pretty hard to do uh, so I didn't put those in. Um, there's actually a vehicle transport elevator. And I, I think it's over here, but I can't remember. It's either here or it's right back here, uh, somewhere right in here, that uh, they can park the vehicle on, and it you know it actually goes up and down on an elevator. Um, again, not really sure where that where that goes, but don't really have the room for it if I want to keep some of the main details down here in uh, in the well deck area. And of course the control tower up here. Or basically it's to, to oversee the launching and stuff. It's not really a control tower. Uh, it's more of a observation deck, I guess you would call it. Um, so got that in. And that is pretty much it. All right, let's fly over and get a better look at the LCAX and the LCU. And we will be done with this video. All right, so yeah, this is inside of the Wasp. And I did change it out. So I've got the new LCAC in here. And you can see how much more room... Oh, what is that? Piece of stone. Um, you can see how much more room is on the sides. 
and uh, I, I think the other one went just to the ceiling so it's just one block shorter than the other one as far as the height goes uh, but the width is definitely narrower than uh, than the old the old LCAC so anyways that is inside the wasp real quick and we're gonna fly around the LCAC over here get a little bit better look at it uh, for shrinking this down I think I got a lot of a lot of the uh, most important details in this and I think it turned out really really well so that is that one and then the uh, the new LCU this is a new design had been asked for again several times in the past and just didn't have time to get a uh, get a hold of it and do it this is based off the 1646 class I think is what it is it's more modern it's not your um, your, your Vietnam era or pre-Vietnam Again, I'm, I'm not an expert on these things, guys. <laughs> I try to do as much research as I can um, and then just build it. But I know this is this is based more off the modern LCUs, um, even though you know they pretty much look like the old ones. So when this one comes out, if you want to use it for an older one, go ahead. Um, so anyways, that is the LCU. But anyways, guys, just want to do a quick video on uh, aboard the San Antonio class uh, ships and show off the LCU and the LCAC. Uh, for those who have seen it on Facebook about a uh, few weeks ago. And I hope you guys really, really enjoy this. And I will get the tutorial out just as soon as I can, guys. Just be patient. Like always, I appreciate you watching. Remember to rate, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Later.